Actually, both Home Retail Group and Morrison's were a little bit weaker this morning. What, what, what didn't we like? The outlook? A lot of people are worried about where we're going mm. uh, with this economy. I mean, the results for Morrison's were particularly good, I feel. Uh, home retail, they did disappoint and, of course, are looking to lower expectations towards the end of the year. Um, I mean, again, we're, we're all looking at the austerity measures and waiting for that hurdle to overcome uh, before we can start being a little bit more positive, and we still don't really know where that is yet, do we? Uh, no, and is there a perception? I wonder whether next year, I mean, think about the retailers, uh, they, they've constantly talking the consumer down, and we've been surprised by how resilient they, they are going to be. I wonder whether 2011, when austerity really kicks in, might be the year that the, the pessimists are right. It's still a difficult one to call. I mean, if you look at August data for sort of manufacturing, housing, things like that, um, it faltered, uh, to be fair. So moving forward, looking towards it, and of course the VAT rise, I mean, I'm wondering, is there room before sort of these austerity measures come into place uh, for them to actually sort of grade them back a little bit? Because, of course, we're still talking about potentially more quantitative easing in, in trying to give the economy a boost. Yeah, do you think VAT will make any impact? Do you think people will bring forward purchases? Or well, actually, in, in relation to Morrison's, I think they'll probably be the, uh, the, the major supermarket that will be least hit um, because clearly uh, VAT is going to hit on, uh, on non-foods. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, some of the, uh, the white goods manufacturers uh, and, and retailers, I think, are going to be particularly hit uh, early next year. Okay, what are we, um, what's happening? Dana's uh, fallen back today. The Koreans have They've dug their heels come in. Out, yes, uh, it's fallen final, £18 a share. That's all you're getting. Which, of course, if you look at it, it was uh, sort of a 59% premium to where they were before. Now, Tom Cross, the uh, Dana mm. chief executive, has come out and said this had an independent valuation of between sort of £21 to just over 24 which is still is quite a big gauge anyway. Yeah. But, um, no, I think £18 per share is fair. Certainly there's rumours about Schroeder's offering their 13% uh, to Dana should they want to go ahead and take it. Um, unfounded, I don't know how much truth is behind that. But, um, no, it'll be an interesting one to watch. Okay, Marcus, good to see you. Thanks very much, Steve, for joining us. Thank Marcus Bullis, Trading Director at MB Capital.